can do that. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept this. Compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Everybody leave! Get the fuck out of here! Guys, get the fuck out! Back! Oh my God. Good. Now let's get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. I'm there. Hang on. No, you're tapping into like the city's power grid. No That'll let me overload up. the transformers near you Put and blow out those on, lights. Huh? You think of that? Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Teddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. We know what you did, you bastard. We'll get you. I'm waiting for you, shithead. Show yourself, asshole. Show me what you what got. What the? There's only one place he can be. Right over there. Over oh, there. Shit. Shoot. You want to fuck with me, asshole? Fuck. Come on, show yourself, fucker. Ah, fuck you. You'll have to come back, asshole. Oh. Come out and show yourself, fuckface! What do you got, man? You got anything good? 
place is shit. Now you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou easy. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. And the lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. <laughs> Baby, don't look. Sam. What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are, are you doing? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Money's good. I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. Fisher guy's smart. Probably ran out the back entrance to the market, left us here with our thumbs up. <laughs> Not happening. Back's all blocked off. He's gotta come through here. Hopefully before we die of old age. What the hell is he hiding anyway? Jewelry stand, maybe? Nah, not enough cover. He's gotta be somewhere around here. Probably someplace close. If he was close, we'd see him. We'd take him out. Oh, cover shit. me, you assholes! You don't want to fight me, Fisher? Come on, asshole! Gun him down! Lead the target, you assholes! Let him have it! Do this. I'm out of here. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? Fuck you! Okay, enough. You wanna know who sent me? It's Colbin. Andre Colbin. Runs drugs, guns, anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? <laughs> Don't. He <laughs> drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Huh? Heard you were coming, so he hired me to. To kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? I can't. Oh. 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 In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not going to tell him a damn thing.
Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Exactly inspiring confidence these days. Oh no, you believe it's cooked up and freaked you know, so upset. Can't say I blame him. What, because of the shipment? That's bullshit. We've handled like six of these already. You heard the client, the very serious levels. Oh shit! Ooh. They missed the hit on Fisher at the market. I guess it's up to us now, man. Man, did you see shit? Coven cleaned up super baby. Shit, now I'm a little freaked. Wait, what the hell is he doing, Captain Spook? Holy shit! What's on the schedule for tomorrow? Well, uh, there's a good thing. to the back courtyard. Let someone else dump them. They missed the hit on Fisher at the market. I guess it's up to us now, man. What the? Colvin cleaned up after Daisy. Shit, now I'm impressed. I'm a little freaked. Wait, what the hell is he doing? Captain Spooks. What the hell she got us working for? Who's gonna ask him to cap Spooks? Who's gonna come looking for us? You guys are horses. Get anything off the body? No. Other beers. Fingerprint ID. Well, unless you're the owner, you can't sell it, and you can't use it. 
Besides, the goggles are covered in brain. You had to go there, huh? You really had to go there. I'm just Would saying. Would you shut up, both of you? I'm getting the feeling that Tobin has been way over his head. If he drowns, we drown with him. Oh, man, I like you better when you're talking about the brains. How we doing? Go ahead and schedule. Don't tell those guys that. Yeah, no kidding. Any idea what's in the big box? Don't know. Expensive huh? corruption, that's all I know. So this means we're using the usual pilot for this run? <laughs> that was efficient. Yeah, COVID trust is better than some. That's why they're going to survive. What's your ETA? Yeah, protecting their investment. All I'm saying is I wouldn't want to be that guy next time, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Got that loaded? Check. The crates? Yeah, check. Port materials? Check. Uh, the big crates? Check. We'll get back. Check. That stuff? Check. Ooh! Check the zone. Get on it. Oh, fuck, man. Holy shit. You want some Fisher, motherfucker? Yeah, you better Stop hide, there. Fisher. Fuck Wait, you, coward. We're gonna find the guy who did this, and we're gonna kill him. Oh, man. He's close, guys. He's gotta be. I'll make a pass with your fucking blood. Sit, Mr. Hiding? How the fuck did you get Grand Coast? No! 
What the? Nobody is going anywhere until Fisher is dead. Until he shows up, all you gotta do is shut up and get ready to shoot. Oh, we clear? Next time. Yeah, boss. Take the I stairs. Easy there, boss. Don't somebody take it easy. I'm ready. Are you idiots ready? I'm ready. I'm ready right now. <laughs> I'm not hearing anything. Are you hearing anything? Shit! You, uh, Anton, go check it out. What are you waiting for? Fucking kill him! Die, you bastard! Die! Look, look, look! Go! You're not bulletproof, are you? I'm gonna blow your brains out! Hold still and die! Something about my daughter. Oh, God, no. I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. Oh! It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't get it, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Oh. Oh. Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Ah. Drop it, Fisher! Drop it down! You won't be hurt! Fisher. Sam, One you need damage. to go with them. The hell I do. Please. To trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in the That's air! It, Fisher. Don't let nice me and easy. Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup. I'll be happy when we drop off Sleeping Beauty. So will Reed. I saw his people out by his chopper ready to go. 
He's probably impatient. Look, Colonel Prentice, I got us here as fast as I could. Yes, you did, Oscar. Tom Reed's just not a patient man. Uh, Colonel, I don't mean to be pushy on this one, but I do need to talk to you about my pay. I was told Coburn was handling that. Well, yes, sir, but since there were these changes, you see? Extra passengers with extra gear and a longer flight plan? Tell you what, Oscar. Take it up with Colonel Reed. He'll take care of you. It was clear someone wanted to talk to Sam. That's why they went to all the trouble of setting them up at Coburn's. That's why they tranked them and flew them back home. They needed him docile when they offloaded him at their private airstrip up in the Blue Ridge, because if they hadn't, he would have taken that place upon with his bare hands. He's awake. Fuel is it free, man. Colonel Prentice, Major Robertson, we don't have time to chat. Our timetable says your men need to move. Everything's operational, Director Reed. We start deployment at 900 hours this morning. Good, keep things going on your end. I'm heading back to third echelon to prep things there. Oh, our people would be just fine. Never had any doubts. Now, gentlemen, if you'll excuse us, I need a minute with Miss Grimm's daughter here. There's a loose end that needs tying off. Of course, Major. Right. Fisher's all yours, Anna. You packaged him for us in Malta, you get to unwrap him here. Find out what he knows about the EMPs, how he knows it, and why he's been hunting our friend Mr. Coven. Might take a while, Tom. He's been trained to resist interrogation. I'm authorizing you to use whatever persuaders you need, chemical or otherwise. Get the answers, and dispose of them. Just don't be as messy this time. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Anything else? Just, Just get, get to, to it. it. And call me when you have something. I'll be at HQ. Listen to me. I'm working for President Caldwell as a mole inside third echelon. Reed's the new director, and he's working hand-in-hand -hand with our hosts here, a PMC called Black Arrow. They're running a pipeline for stolen Russian EMP tech through Malta, and Reed's stonewalling any kind of investigation into it. Reed's stonewalling the president. He's got serious political coverage from somewhere, and the president isn't getting anywhere through channels. We know they're in the final stages of prep for something very ugly, but what we don't know is what it is or where it's going down. Really? Then again, you seem more interested in field work these days. Stop it. I need you to do this. The second I make a move, my cover is blown. But you're on the outside now. You are free to act. I don't do this sort of thing anymore. Tell that to the men you killed in Malta. Now, if you don't make it look like you escaped and attacked me, I'm dead. So make it look good, Sam. Hit me. Do what you have to do. Grim, let me remind you, I'm out of the game. You're not out. All it took was one hint about her. Only one hint about Sarah, and you dove right back in. What do you know about her? I know she's alive. How's that for starters? Lying. She's dead. Lambert told me she was dead, and I take his word over yours. She's alive, Sam, and I know where she is. I've known all along. You're lying. Why should I believe you? Because my people have her. If you help me, you get to see her again. If you don't, it's out of my hands. Do not lie to me about this, or I'll kill you. You understand me? I will kill you! Sam, I've been lying to you about this for years. Oh. 
Okay. I... Okay, that'll do. Good work. Shut up. Here. My car is just outside their security gate. It's a red T-208. I disabled the GPS locator chip so Third Echelon's birds can't find it. And take this snake cam. It's linked with this phone. The signal's encrypted. In case you get lonely. So I can set up a call with Sarah to prove to you that she's alive and unharmed. Now we need to get you out of here without them coming after you. C4 should help with that. There's some right outside. Get it and call me back. I don't get the gun. Just point it at the right people. Oh, I will. Grim, I've got the package. Good. Now here's the plan. They may not be able to track my car by GPS, but they've got a chopper on site that means they don't need to. They'll just blow me off the road. We're far enough out into the sticks that no one will notice. You need to disable that chopper, or you're not going anywhere. Roger that. That would be better to hold off on the detonation. Dry quick enough. It better. We're field testing this stuff soon. 